Do you know the feeling of first ever time buying a stock in the stock trading market? And do you know the feeling of once you buy that stock, suddenly the price of that stock collapse and fall down? Okay, this is going to be uh, my story, my first time ever buying a stock and what happened just afterwards. Hopefully, it will be entertaining enough despite what happened to me. Bismillah, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and good greetings. Um, today, I will be sharing my personal experience of being a totally newbie, have nothing known, have no knowledge whatsoever about um, stock trading and first experience of entering the market and first experience of buying a stock and first experience of seeing the price fall. Right, so... Um, I'll be showing some things here. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how many of my viewers uh, are interested in this kind of of content. So this is just to share because I like to experiment with things. That's number one. If you have seen my vlogs before regarded uh, regarding um, academic oriented stuff, uh, ex experimental in the uh, in the teaching methods etc. And I vlog about it it's kind of a personal diary of me if i want to ever look back and see what i have experimented with um what is the results what is the takeaway so this is the same here um with the pandemic right some one thing leads to another and suddenly the interest level of the mass about uh, stock trading goes up right um and um, one thing leads to another and suddenly I have a CDS account. With that, I really want to experiment firsthand. What is this all about? What entails and whatever, whatever, right? So, what better way to really understand something other than actually personally experience it, right? So, basically, I will be showing certain things. Um, okay, in the screen here, um, basically, I'm using M+. Plus. This is, um, I'm, I'm talking about Malaysian context here. Um, yeah. So, this is M+, plus online. So, this is today. Um, if you see, okay. This is what happened today, right? Earlier today. Um, right now, uh, at the time of recording, the, the market is closed. Uh, it's at night here. Um, so, um, Kwasan and... Uh, these are all the top gainers and top losers here and this is most active, right? Um, so, good thing about me, uh, we will see after this is um, Kosan is related to um, myself and um, SCGM. Uh, even though uh, I will be touching a bit only for this one and we'll see if, I, if there's interest in this kind of content, I might extend further, right? Uh, other than just my diary of just looking back and nostalgic moments etc okay so if i log in into this um in this account right I, I cannot show you how i log in but when i log in i'll just want to zoom in okay let us see so i will zoom in into okay um this is the stocks that i have currently right so there you go this is full disclosure i think um should I show this? <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I'm just showing this just because this is hopefully mostly entertaining um, because it's entertaining to see someone achieve something and it's also entertaining to see someone fail at something, right? So hopefully whatever happened will be entertaining. That's the first thing. Uh, a disclaimer as, as, as well. I'm totally newbie on, on, on these things. So this is not... Um, purpose the purpose of this video is not about um, promoting anyone to join these things but at least hopefully it will be a bit educational so that anyone who is totally do not know about these things like me just before this uh, okay have some idea oh that's that's the thing right okay so basically this is just to show uh, all the stocks that I have currently in my portfolio um, the value basically when you see the gross investment here it is basically the um, the amount of money that is being used to purchase each of the stocks stocks 
um, this is the quantity of the share this is the average price of um, when it was bought and then this is the current price or, or when it um, the market closed today so you can see some down down up down right so I'm going to show everything because uh, my 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 I'm very much affected by the youtubers that I I, I focus on in terms of watching I focus on um, personal finance a lot I, I really want to learn um, not about stock about personal finance in general right but and what I admire some of those uh, youtubers is their uh, full transparency you can see that right so they, they explain everything and they show everything um, so we can get a picture of everything right so because some some criticism that goes towards those who promote um, going into stocks is that it's always rosy it's always um, you gain money it's always making profit right but you can see here um, okay this is because uh, uh, coincidentally the, the time available for me to do this is when the Kosan stock goes up goes very high up in one day um, and suddenly there's 1000 here right that is not existent yesterday uh, because this just jump up in one day right so that's how it behave uh, we will go about that uh, later right but there's also a negative here like for example here uh, Petronas chemical uh, it stopped at um, basically if I uh, currently it's lower 77 ringgit than when I purchase it right this is quite I'm surprised here because when in the middle of the day when I just checking on it is minus i think 200 or something because it goes do down but i think before it closes it go back back up again but that's the nature of the thing which is somewhat you can see it's like a game for those who go into it and you know using the fluctuation to make money right so um about the mindset of going into this etc i i'm not sure whether i will discuss it in this video uh, because i have a certain mindset on top of being experimental right i'm, I'm experimenting here um, and a disclosure when you do experiment um, you should use because if you because i'm from material uh, engineering right not mechanical engineering but I, i'm mechanical engineering uh, by profession but i do testing mechanical testing right uh, uh, make tensile test impact test and when you do experiment like that you have to use specimen that you are willing to be broken right because you cannot repair that you do impact it broken you do tensile it broken right so um if you want to do experiment do not ever use for example in terms of money do not ever use money that you are not willing to lose right so that's that's i'm just saying that because i do not want anyone to be uh this is not to motivate others to experiment with money right so just to be clear this is very calculated in the sense that the risk taken as well as what is being risked right okay anyway so i just want to share about the price drop right um anyway so this is the, the, the whole thing i will if anyone is interested i can go into why i buy buy etc etc and i know um i'm risking because of some friends that also trade will say why are you going into such stock right because it is not it is not um profitable or it's not if you want to make profit quickly some of this stock is not the one you will go into but i have my reason in terms of experimental and seeing what happened uh, we will go about that in the end of the video but i want to um focus on this because at the beginning the first day that i can actually log in and when i got the cds account is um if you can see here um I'm hoping you can see my mouse here. This is on 14th of July. Um, so it's like uh, two weeks back, right? That's the day when I get the access and I can start trading, right? Um, so what I did was, uh, so because the, this one is on 20th of um, July. So that's much later when I bought this one, right? So we'll discuss on this later, right? But I want to focus here is on the, my first experience. So on the 14th of July, I bought these two, right? With uh, 400 uh, stocks or shares um, both, right? And I just want to show what happened then. Okay, there's two surprises. One is when the price dropped. But before that, the first surprise is actually 
um, when I actually purchased that, I was how to say I was surprised that I bought that stock. Uh, do, do you understand that? <laughs> because I, I I never when I click, I never actually expected to buy that that one. All right, so let's let's take a look at okay how how to do this. Um, okay, um, just as an example, right? Okay, this is just an example. Um, this is an example for Kosan that this this is today's graph. I I actually snapshot this. Um, this is actually from one day. So on the left here is the price goes up and down throughout the day. So uh, we will touch on how Kosan becomes like this, and it goes up. So that's another video because um, I just want to. S this is my, my okay. I'm all over the place here. Um, my purpose here is I'm assuming the one who is interested in watching this is someone who have never know about these things right so those who are familiar with stock this video will be boring for you uh, i acknowledge that but for those who are not familiar as well it might still be boring but hopefully there's some entertainment level and educational level here so you can see the up and down from 9 a.m so in malaysian time 9 a.m and then it break at 12 uh, is it at 12 or 12 30 12 30 is it and then that's why it's straight line and then it comments at is it i don't actually know what is the time of is it 2 30 uh, time of um, market open right and then it closed at 5 p.m all right so um i'm not sure what is this i'm totally newbie i don't even know what that means but what i know is okay so this is um currently it's stagnant right uh, this is the price where it stops it, it closed right so on here is basically how much um how to say um, people but want to buy how much stocks at what price and then this is how many people want to buy how many stocks at what price how many people want to sell so on the right here maybe i'll shoot 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 just right right so on, on this side here is basically the one want to sell obviously the price will be higher than what is the the latest price right because they want to sell higher because if they want to sell on that specific price normally it is sold uh meaning the 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 request is matched straight away right and on this side should i use a different color on this side okay wait a minute on this side here is how many want to buy right so that's the thing when for example of course i want to buy lower right so the the concept is if i want to buy at this price 1640 uh, i have to queue here right oops okay here behind this current line but of course it will only reach that line if the 16.7 and 16.4.20 there the line is already finished up first right um and for the sell who those who want to sell okay maybe i'll just erase all of this where is it okay those who want to sell here yeah if i want to sell higher right for example 16.760 i have to wait for the in the previous q2 finish first right so those who want to sell, sell seven this one 16 720 etc right um those who really want to sell they will jump here right they will just okay there's already people queue for 16 7 i'll just sell there it's immediately happen or those who want to jump to buy i really want to buy this i don't want to queue i can just straight with go here and buy at 16 70 uh, 16 72 right because there's q there so that's the concept so um depending on how many more people want to buy or sell at what price willing to go higher to buy or willing to sell at much lower the price will go up and down right so if no one want to buy everyone want to sell and they are becoming willing to sell and sell and sell at a lower price then the price tumbling down if everyone want to buy no one want to sell at that price but someone willing to buy up high up high so the price will climb up high right so that's the concept i think is what is the market price all about right because before i do not know who, who said the market price because i don't even understand the concept the concept is basically like that right so what happened okay if i go to kosan here right so going back okay going back to the date um so we'll take a look at the date so here then going back at 14 of july right so take the um, memorize that 14 of july so we'll go and actually to the to the candlestick 
diagram here right so okay here so this is kosan rubber industry um um you know what is this chart right over time right so this is at the beginning of 2020 and then goes up to now right so uh, you can see the sudden spike this is due to covid suddenly the glove industry shoot up like crazy if you can see here anyone who already have the stock here even here right here is already go up but here for example at eight if you already got it here and now it's like 16 it's already double meaning if you have like you put here 1000 you already get 2000 here or 8000 it will be 16000 there etc right so it's it shoot up like like crazy it double your your stock already right but unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately um i cannot buy because i do not have my cds account at that point i get it on 14 of july so what happened on 14 of july so let's take a look here where's 14 15 14 okay this is 14 of july now the meaning of this for those who do not know because i'm addressing those who totally what what does this mean right so any of this line is the because uh, just now you look the graph right so it's good it chart um up and down the price how where it goes to the top and bottom it will have this line right for example this line this line this line and when the the, the like the candle the big one is just to show where it begins and where it ends at the day right so for example here it begins here it ends here it begins here it ends here it begins here it ends here so the meaning of this for example is it begins here and then it goes up and down and around but it covers the whole line here the the whole uh, green line there right uh, but it does end here meaning that it reached here at one point in the day but it settled here right on the 14th of july here when i log in the first time i know it opens at 13 here if you look at the far right it's 13 the price is 13 here right and i want to buy but it goes so hard i in the very morning 14 point something i said wow this is crazy it's already going go hard i up high and i think i do not want to risk so that much of money because if what if it fall down so what i did was i just enter because in the system you can queue where what a price you want right of course if the queue never reached to your point uh for example you want to buy at a low price and it never reached to low is keep going high or stay there then at the end of the day your order disappear meaning that okay so you, you do not get your order you you you, you just disperse right so if, if you imagine the line right so meaning that um it start all over tomorrow right so i just put okay because i really want to start experiencing for real in term of the system not in term of buying anything yet because i'm not sure is this okay or not it, it have the good um going up right so hopefully i'm pro hopefully it goes up so if i break there and hopefully it goes up that's my hope but it, when i go into it it's already up to high in that day right from 13 to 14.5 or uh, as i remember it, I said, this is ridiculous so i just put it okay i just put 13.5 okay i put 13.5 put it there okay at least i have tried the system and and yeah we have tried so i have first hand experience of trying to buy and i leave it at night after because i, I never look back because i never expect it to ever happen because it's 14 point something little did i know the price dropped i think i'm not sure if it re just reached before the closing because it closed at exactly the price that i set meaning that suddenly when I, wait what it's already in my portfolio i actually bought it that's what i mean by i'm surprised i'm buying it because i don't expect to ever buy i just put of course when you put you put the attention to buy but i thought it would never happen because if the price price up here how can it just go down because i put it 1.0 uh, lower right so it never gonna happen but it did but it did but i do not know why oh that's my first experience. Well, wait what it can it can fluctuate that 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 terrible because I thought when it start at 13 it's already at 14 points something and the trend of glove is going up it should go up higher right I never did I know it will happen then but of course you can see Alhamdulillah it happened because 
right now is going up this is today this is what i mean by today today this is unprecedented jump right so what i'm thinking right now is should i sell early tomorrow so that i can just profit from it uh, um, but we'll talk about that in another video okay that's the sh shocking part um the same goes with okay here is the thing i do not know why it goes down so quickly but tomorrow it started here and it goes down to this point here at one point a day and it sh it stopped here right so it fluctuate and it stopped there meaning that when i bought for bought for 13.5 thinking that it's never gonna happen because it's quite low from 14 point something but when i suddenly buy it, okay interesting but when i look at it now oh now it's 27 12 sorry 12 7 oh my goodness i have lost quite a lot of money here and then it, the next day it goes further like 12.3 like okay what is happening here is going down so that is where the first experience kick in right okay uh, we can actually lose a lot of money by dealing with this stuff right especially if you do not know what you are getting yourself into right so the 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 explanation that i get when i what, what is going on what is going on, why why is this price falling down so um what i can found is basically um this news article right this is in 16 because when um when that happened because on 14th i buy and then on uh, 15 it's drop and then it's continue to drop on 16 so this 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 news basically explain it big four glove stocks see 10.5 billion ringgit market cap wiped out in one day why because so basically from what i understand is um uh, uh, is it is the the, the reason g given here uh the bulls healthy pullback okay i thought there's a yeah, yeah okay sorry i i should have read that rising hope that a vaccine has been found for covid19 caused a knee-jerk share dumping yesterday right so basically uh people upon because there's a news going out about vaccine has been found for covid19 because the only reason you can see the only reason the big reason why this big four glove company goes so high because covid19 glove is needed worldwide and actually the business is booming right until maximum capacity etc they goes up right but now oh vaccine is found so people are dumping the price so i didn't know at that maybe this is the news of that vaccine it's, it's at the middle of the day after i put the order and then suddenly drop until my price and then further drop and further drop right so uh, the reason i didn't panic is i will go into this um, later in, in in another video i think i don't want this one to be too too long is because i bought all of whatever i bought in the hope of a long-term return or middle medium term return right for example i i my my initial i do not expect or want to see immediate you know price jump i want uh, my 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 imagination is just okay any any stock that i think have the potential by december is higher we can try and experiment because i want to see what happened right so if any stock that i think it's going to go up high or can go down so fast i i do not want to risk it even though that can potentially give you big money in the smallest time but i'm not for it at least for now right um so when i read this 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 news about uh, the knee-jerk uh, reaction about COVID-19 um, um, vi uh, uh, what is vaccine it's late night already vaccine have been found then I know okay this this news is just a knee-jerk because it's it's further away I know right so I know that I know not, do not need to panic it's not like the company is collapsing and it will fall down straight away right so that's why you can see later it recover and goes up again because I, I know I, I, I do expect it will be continuous for this big uh, for glove company until the end of the year i think it's still going up it will go up and down but generally i'm confident it's generally up right so that's uh, one company another company just in short it is that i got is uh Vitrox, right? so this company as well why i go for it is because um yeah because that's fundamental because uh, we will discuss on the letter for anyone who are interested in uh, when i bought it okay 
um, okay most of the company because um, you can see due to COVID this go down I think but and then it recovers but at 14 where is 14 14 14 this is for uh, this is 14 all right right okay this is 14 so this is the day right so the same thing actually when okay I said okay this is going up generally trend okay fine but on 14 it is here right so it's it start here uh, can i see okay because um the day before it goes up high and then it start here and it start to go up right it's uh 10.4 10.4 something when i want uh, and it's fluctuate there and i said i don't want to risk it and again the same rational i just want to try the the system log in into a, a, a value that uh, I think it will never reach right so I put 10 exactly 10 pump I put 10 there later that I know it actually goes down significantly from there to 10 and pump my my order match and I suddenly have that stock uh, um, uh, in the hindsight I was lucky that I put such a low value that I get the stock at such a low value because if I I really want, I really want I purchase at 10.4 and then it falls to 10 <laughs> it's, it's, yeah so it's much uh, it, it, it may but of course, the same, the same thing because what, uh, I was worried because later is going down and then it, here it goes down and up again it's fluctuate but it's, the price is it's like that, right? So um, that's my personal experience because for this video, I just want to highlight that it is very possible if you go in without proper understanding of the risk and what is going on you can lose a lot of money yeah you, you can it's possible right so yeah so that's the thing i think that's it for this first ever video on this aspect uh, okay my, my intention is this because i part of the experiment that i want to do is uh, to see relatively if I go into stock market like this and play it, you know, con conservatively, I, I'm not searching for those high spike because, yeah, um, personally, I'm, I'm talking about personal. I'm not giving any advice. I'm just talking about my personal. I want to compare with this one and a unit trust because I have some unit trust um, from my EPF, from my retirement fund because uh, on our retirement fund in Malaysia, we can look at some portion to some others um, like like some banks some institutions do the unit trust so you can go park there right uh, and it's linked right so i want to compare that and that and also i have another one uh, on this phone which is uh, wahid invest right so it's basically uh i'm not sure you can see it uh, so it's wahid uh invest so this is the login login anyway so um so we will see about that because um this video i think is long enough because okay you can, if you can see right so um right now i have some money here some money on the uh, unit trust and some money on this there's very little money on the what do you call this it's robo invest or something because it's, it's basically the similar concept we will discuss on that later as well what's the concept what's the similarity from my personal understanding and i want just want to see after six months after one year between the three what is the comparison so that i can then give a, a, a more proper more sound advice to my kids for example on what they should consider etc moving forward in their life right so with that personally have any experience in this this and that uh, i cannot really comment it's it's mo more on hearsay right so that's the one of the reason i want to experiment with stuff and you know make it the diary of it right so anyway uh, hopefully this has this has been i'm all out all over the place i know uh, i do not plan properly on this i just i, I have something to say something to share but it's so hard to find time to look it for this uh, this is the midnight on today i find okay maybe before <laughs> before continuing on with the work and marking and grading students mark just have this done 
and then put it up there if anyone find this entertaining that's good do like the video of course if you find it educational at least you know something that you have not before and you want to know more do comment and state what else you want to know maybe i can experiment stuff as well or i do have some things that i want to share as well on other stuff uh, on another other video inshallah so we will see you then thank you for watching see you next time